Okay, my YouTube people. The next thing we're going to install on this Evo motor is the tappet blocks and the lifters. One thing I like to do before I put the tappet block and lifters in is get a little oil on that cam. This happens to be Royal Purple Max Tough Synthetic Assembly Lubricant. I'm just going to take this and use the nozzle to get oil all over the lobes of the cam. I'm also going to get some down in behind that spacer so it lubricates the end of the cam. Even though I put assembly paste on it, I'm going to make sure that I put enough on that it drips onto the gear drive for the pinion, also on the cam gear. Then I'm going to take and rotate the motor around to make sure that, that gear is fully covered in that assembly lube. Okay, now that I got that done, I'm going to get the tappet blocks started. You can see these tappet blocks have new paint on them. I stripped them first and then I used a cleaner and then I used Harley paint on these. And I have a video on how to paint your heads and I use the same procedure on these. I'll make sure to link that video at the end of this one and also put it in the description. I need to take the tape off of these and you can see there's no paint anywhere on this part that goes in the engine. It's important not to have any paint on the gasket surface because it won't allow your gasket to seal properly. And here's the other one. And you can see there's no paint anywhere on that either. It's always good to run a flat fine file over any gasket surface to make sure there's no risers of any kind on there or nicks. That way your gasket seals properly and even over these surfaces. And of course you want to do that before your engine's put together. Next thing we'll do is get the tappet block gaskets out of the James kit. And this James kit is the JGI-17033-83-A. And it fits 84 through 91 evolutions. The gasket for the front and rear tappet block is JGI-18633-48-A-C for the rear, 18634 and JGI-18634-48-AB, and, and that's for the front. So you can see these take two different gaskets, and the most important part of this is not only get it on the right one, but to make sure that this oil hole lines up with the passage in the lifter block. And it's the same thing with the rear one. And they go like that. I never add sealant because that's the purpose of the gasket is to seal. So I would never spray anything on these. I see a lot of people on the internet that talk about doing that. To me, their surfaces aren't right if they're doing that or they feel the need to do that. I also use these Jim tapered dowels for the alignment of the tappet blocks. The Jim's part number is 3344. 3-84 and I'll put that part number in the description. These also work with the alignment of the oil pump on a twin cam. Before I put the tap blocks in you have to put the lifters in. I always recommend on an Evo to replace the lifters every time and the part number on these tappet blocks are 33-5352. These tappet sets fit 84 to 99 big twins and 86 to 90 XLs. I believe this number to be the drag specialties part number for these, 0929-0004. SNS is always good about sending instructions, so I'm going to read through those first. SNS also sells these lifters with the SNS lifter limiter already in them. That part number is 335353. You can only use those if you're using adjustable push rods. If you're using factory push rods, you have to use these, the 33-5352. But you can also use adjustable push rods with these. The lifter limiters reduce the amount of travel, and at high RPMs, they act like a solid lifter. That's the advantage of the lifter limiters. You can also buy the lifter limiters separate and install them into your factory lifters. So here are the lifters. They have a part number on them. 330-0724. If you're assembling a shovel head and you're using factory lifters, the holes in the lifters have to point towards the oil passage in the tappet block. But with these SNS and all Evos, they put a cutout here. They're not all one piece. So these can face either way and oil will just travel around to get to them. I still try to face these holes to the oil port in the lifter block. The first thing I'll do is coat these in assembly lube and I'll coat the tappet block with assembly lube. I'll put a dab like that on them and then just coat them around. Of course, SNS doesn't leave these dry. But I like to get a little assembly lube on both sides of these and then spin the wheel a little bit.
Not sure if you can see that on camera, but I got both those bores coated real good with assembly lube. Now I'm going to put the lifters up in them, and they have to go in from the bottom. You can see I have the gasket on here. The oil passage on these is in the center of both holes. They face one another. You just take and slide it in like that. And again, there's the hole, and I'll face it towards the center. And they slip in real nice. You can see they want to fall out of here. So the way you hold them in, I get a large binder clip and take the handle off of it. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but I put I grind two points on each side. And you get the lifters all the way in. You just take, you put it in like that. Now if you hold it, they won't come out. Now I have the gasket on. I just hold the clip, position this over top, and drop it right down in there like that. And then I take this clip off. In this one, you can look down in this other hole real easy and see that everything's lined up properly. Next thing I do is take the two tapered dowel pins from Jim's, put them opposite each other. Per the Harley manual, before you close this up, you pour a quarter of a quart of motor oil down in here. I did that before I used the assembly lube or forgot to video it. And, and the head of these bolts are quarter inch, 12 point. And then I take the bolts and put those in. You have to make sure you have that socket. Per the Harley manual, it says to tighten the hydraulic lifter guide bolts, 9 to 12 foot pounds. And now I'll do the same thing with the front lifters and tappet block. Now I have both tappet blocks in, and I'm going to torque this one down. Before I do that, of course, I'm going to put a little blue Loctite on them, and then install them in the two empty holes. 9 to 12 foot pounds is 108 to 144 inch pounds. I'll torque both of these two while I leave the tapered pins in. I'm going to start at 70 inch pounds on both of these. Now 100. Now I'm going to take the two tapered alignment pins out. Now torque these to 100. Now final torque them all to 130 inch pounds. Now that I have the four of these torqued, I'm going to do the same with the front. So that's how you get your lifters and tappet blocks installed on an Evo. And the same procedures used for a shovel. I appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I read them all. Thank you.